Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Tips, Tricks, and Takeaways. My name is John Butterworth, and today we are looking at the snare weight M80 and M1. Okay, welcome back to another episode of Tips, Tricks, and Takeaways. This is a show where I can share with you some of the tips and tricks that I've learned along the way of uh, playing drums, uh, touring, teaching, working for drum companies. And it's also a place where I can show a spotlight on companies that I think are just super rad. Uh, today, I am sharing with you a company that is very much that. Snare Weight, which we talked about last week, with their brass number five, which is their flagship line. Um, if that is a little too rich for your blood, the M lines, the M80 and the M1, are also absolutely fantastic without the price tag. Uh, these are handmade as well in San Francisco by Matt and the team over at Snare Weight. Um, and they're super innovative. They use uh, magnets just like the the brass number five does the difference is the way it attaches to your snare drum or your tom is by kind of a binder clip looking thing which i'll show you later these products are super super innovative uh, and they look fantastic not only are they great on snare drums but i've also found them super helpful on uh, floor toms helping deaden them and get rid of some of the unwanted frequencies and overtones. Let me show you how they sound on the drum set. Okay, welcome back. Uh, so we are checking out the snare weight M80 and the M1 dampening systems. I'm gonna start with the M1, which is the smaller of the two. The way these attach to any uh, hoop, whether it be die cast, uh, triple flanged or single flanged is super easy. It kind of uses a little binder clip. And it just fits right over it. So the cool part about these dampening systems, they also incorporate magnets into them so that you can adjust the dampening on the fly. So again, just like in last video, I am using a six and a half by 14 black nickel over brass DW snare and it's tuned pretty low. The cool thing about this dampening system is you can use it as what it is, just the leather strip across the drum. It takes away some of the unwanted frequencies. But say you want uh, a little less. There are magnets on either side of the M1, so you can just fold a third of it in, and it gives you less dampening. So you still want a more open sound. You can fold the other side in and give you a third of what the dampener actually is. Or say you don't want any dampening at all, but you still want to keep the, uh, the snare weight on your drum, you can just fold it up and it lifts off the drum. Makes it super simple for um, adjusting dampening on the fly in between songs, even in between verses and choruses. So moving on to the M80, uh, this looks very similar to the 70s inserts from the Rast number no. 5. This offers just a little more dampening, but just like the M1, it slips over the edge of any rim, uh, whether that be triple flanged, die cast, or single flanged, or even like a thin wood hoop, I guess. But this adds a good amount uh, more dampening. So say you want the full dampening effect on it. And again, with these products, because it is 100% um, leather, um, as you hit the drum, it naturally lifts off the head, which gives the sound a little more of a uh, organic, breathable um, uh, sound. So say this is a little too much, you can fold in a third of it. Gives you a little less dampening, or you can fold the other half in as well. Or say you don't want it at all. You can flip it totally up. 
just to show you how quickly you can go from each version. Say you want it totally on. A third. The other third. Which I might add is the same size as the M1. Or if you want it completely off. Now something cool for me that I found is say you need dampening on your floor toms. These work great on any drum. I like to use the M80 on my 16 inch floor tom and the M1 on my 14 inch floor tom or my 10 inch. Again, they slip easily over any rim. So this is what my floor toms sound like without any dampening on them. And then adding some. And again, if I want them uh, dampened on one song and not the other, super easy to just flip them up and flip them back down. This is a fantastic product and a fantastic line. Again, Matt and the team over at Snare Weight really hit it out of the park with these. Uh, they are handmade from 100% leather in San Francisco, California, and they're a little cheaper than the Brass Snare Weight Number no. 5, but offer just as much uh, innovation and effective um, and dynamic dampening. You can get these on snareweight.com, their website, or if you are a Nashville local, you can get them at Nelson's Drum Shop, which is a fantastic local drum shop, or you can go to Drum Supply House, another amazing uh, local drum shop. Thank you so much for joining me for another episode of Tips, Tricks, and Takeaways. If you like what you saw and you want to see more episodes, feel free to give this video a like and follow me. Again, thank you so much and have a fantastic day. I will see you guys next time.